Get him. Get him! Oh, he got me! <laughs> so I got a trident guy coming after me. I was just sitting in my boat uh, waiting for daytime. Whoa. All right, I'm going to take this guy out. I was sitting in my boat waiting for daytime. Actually, I should uh, put my bow in my offhand. Okay, let me go get safe before I die here. I want to make sure we kill the guy with the trident with looting. Let me come over here for a second. Anyway, I was just sitting in my boat waiting for daytime. Uh, we are at the point now in the game where we are uh, wanting some phantoms. Yeah, we're going to be going after the end dragon. Was this the guy? That's the guy right there. We're going to be going after the end dragon here pretty soon. Oh, he didn't drop it. Ding guy. And I would like to get myself some slow fall potions. So in order to get slow fall potions, oh, we got another. Was there another trident guy or is that just one of these guys touching me? Maybe it's one of these guys. Anyway, uh, slow fall potions you brew from the phantom membranes, which come from phantoms, which means we gotta wait like three full Minecraft days before we sleep. Yep, and then we can, or I'm sorry, wait three Minecraft days without sleeping, and then the phantoms have a chance of appearing overnight, right? Uh, so yeah, that's definitely a thing that we want to do is try and get some of that slow fall potion. Uh, but yeah, I was kind of wasting time going around <laughs> waiting for uh the nights or the, i guess the time to pass and i wanted to get myself a cow well actually i want to get myself a couple of cows here can you just go on my boat or do i have to get out and then you go in then i go in oh okay now you have that wheat yeah so i wanted to bring some cows back to the base so we can start uh having food with us let me make sure yeah the cows in there so we can start having food all the time so we can not worry about leather leather is another thing that i wanted to do uh i wanted to try and get my feather falling diamond boots that we have i want to get that to have unbreaking and protection but in order to do that we need to get some enchanted books yeah enchant those with the uh the correct enchantments and then apply that to my boots. Yeah, so that's kind of what we're working on here. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, guys. So last episode, we talked a little bit about natural disasters and the hurricane that is uh, potentially going to hit Florida. Most of the tracks that we see right now show it not actually going to Florida. Kind of like skirting the coast a little bit. Yeah, so... I've been watching that pretty much all weekend, trying to figure out if I need to uh, evacuate or what's all going to happen. But it seems like at this point in time that it's just going to skirt the coast. We'll probably see some tropical force winds here, maybe up to hurricane force winds. But it, all signs are pointing to the hurricane not landing or I guess not making landfall. Yeah, so that's the important thing here. Uh, so let's see. How do I get you out of the boat without killing you? Uh, okay, we got it. Yeah, the hitboxes in this game are like super, super weird. Sometimes you'll look like you're hitting the boat, but you're actually going to hit the animal that's in the boat. That's not good. I know you can do F3B to show hitboxes, I believe. But yeah, I'm trying to not use those as much as possible. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and bring our cow buddy back to our base area over here. I'm going to, oh, I don't know, probably just put them in a hole for right now until I get some fences made, and then I can enclose them in a fenced-in area. But, yeah, I definitely want to get this, uh, I definitely want to get, like, a small cow farm going. I guess you can stay there. You're fine. Let me go get some fences. I'm going to go tie them up, and I'm going to go bring them back another buddy so we can start our cow farm. All right, here's another drown. Whoa, he got my boat that time. Another drown. Let's just try and get him with our sword. With our looting sword. Come here, guy. Whoa. Dodge. Bob and weave, bob and weave. You missed. Got him. All right, did you drop anything that time? You didn't drop anything. Ah. Oh, and I'm drowning. <laughs> All right, good. We're fine. We're fine. Did I got my boat? Yeah, I got my boat here. All right, cool. Uh, Yeah, so still waiting out the night. It finally stopped raining. That's super annoying that, like, the very first night it decides to rain. Man, there are so many drowned around here. Goodness. Yeah, fortunately, the ones with the trainer are the other ones that I'm actually interested in. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just went to start enchanting to go spend some time at the mob farm, and then I forgot Lapis. 
Yeah. Uh, I did end up bringing two cows back. I bred them. Uh, we got the advancement, the parrots and the bats, I think is what the advancement was called. Uh, so yeah, we have that Ooh, creeper. Yeah, we got that advancement. So we are set on that. We have two cows. They might be able to be bred again. I don't well, how long can, does it take between breeding sessions? I don't actually know. Maybe we can do another one. But yeah, we do have a, a baby cow here, which is good. Is that spider really following me from way back there? What the heck? Those guys can see from like forever away. You want to go again? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're doing it. Cool. All right. So our cow farm is now up to four cows. Awesome. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I came back here so I can get the lapis so we can actually do some enchanting. And how much do we have left? A fairly decent amount. My inventory is looking pretty destroyed right now. All these seeds are from harvesting that wheat earlier. Uh, from our wheat farm using fortune you get like four or five seeds per Per plant or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe if we get some chickens over here Those would be good, but other than that, I'm not really sure what else I'm gonna use those for uh, Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead clear out my inventory I'm gonna go to our mob farm once again and see if we can try and get on breaking three and Maybe a couple protection threes or hopefully a protection four on a book. That's the idea here. All right, guys, so I've been farming some XP for a little while now, chewed through a decent amount of our lapis, didn't touch any of our lapis blocks yet, but this is the third night, so we should be able to find some phantoms tonight, but uh, I did get Sweeping Edge for our sword, so we can apply that. We do need to make an anvil. We haven't done that yet. I did get one unbreaking for our boots. You can see how much damage these have taken off compared to the other pieces of armor. Well, the helmet just has lower durability overall. Uh, but yeah, this has been taking some decent amount of damage. So we are going to want to get that unbreaking on there at the very least. And then I got protection three. This also has power four, which we could upgrade our bow to power five with. Um, and then we also have another, who is it right here? Another power four that we can do that. So I think we're going to use this power four protection three for my feet to put protection on them. I mean, protection three is better than no protection. So I think that's what we're going to do. So I think we're doing pretty good. I did get an efficiency four, so I took that. So we can upgrade to efficiency five on our pickaxes eventually. But yeah, I think we are pretty much done here. Let's turn uh, the sounds back on. <laughs> yeah, I don't want like a creeper or something sneaking up on me. Whoa, um, did I just run right into that dolphin? Sorry, dolphin. I don't know if that really matters actually. Uh, but yeah, so we are <laughs> gonna just be going around at nighttime or I guess just kind of hanging out outside hoping that we can get phantoms to spawn. Uh, since we have looting, we should be able to get a decent amount of the phantom membranes if they do spawn. Uh, hey, look, an enderman right by the base. Figures that we get enderman spawn by the base when we no longer really need extra ender pearls, but I can't let a good enderman go to waste. Let's go ahead and uh, get some pearls off this guy. Whoa, there, you go. there it is. Oop, got some pearls. Nice. How many we get? Two ender pearls, not bad. Okay, so yep, so like I said, I'm just gonna be hanging out at nighttime. Probably gonna jump on the roof of my house and hopefully we'll get some phantoms to show up. Can I do this? Yes, I can. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get some phantoms to show up in. I'll uh, not grab the attention of every other hostile mob around here. But anyway, I'm just gonna kind of AFK for a minute. Hopefully we'll get them to show up and we'll be back guys. Well, no such luck on the phantom spawn. So that was night three. So is it every night after the third night? I'm not actually sure how it works. I thought like it would be on the third night, but maybe not. But anyway, so now that we're here at the base and it's daytime, and we got to wait. Uh, we can look at making ourselves an anvil so we can continue on what we're doing here. All right. So let's do that. Uh, three of those, some of that anvil. Nice. All right, let's put this iron away since we don't have a whole lot of it. We want to make sure we're not going to die with it or something silly. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this anvil. I guess we can put it right here. All right, so we want to upgrade uh, our boots. Yep, that is the main thing. So boots plus unbreaking. So that only costs three levels. That's not so bad. All right, so there we go. Unbreaking and feather falling. And then we want to put the protection on there as well. And that's four levels. We'll take it. So not the best boots ever, but you know, they're going to last a while. In fact, while we are doing stuff, we could probably repair them too. Probably one diamond is all it's going to take. Yeah, that's 
that makes me feel a, bit, a little bit better about it. Now all the armor is roughly the same durability, pretty close anyway. The helmet always has less durability, I think, than everything else, doesn't it? Yeah, so that one always takes more damage. But anyway, so sweeping edge, we're going to apply that to our sword. So let's do that. So that's six levels. Yep, and that will do an AoE attack when we uh, let it charge all the way up, and then we do a swipe. So that'll be really good. Um, all right, so now we have all of that done. The only thing we could do is upgrade our bow to power five which we have that power book. I might go back to the mob farm, grab that, and then upgrade our bow. Yeah, I think that might be what I do. Uh, we still got like 10 minutes to kill or whatever <laughs> until it's nighttime, and hopefully we'll get those phantoms to spawn. Uh, maybe I guess we could make ourselves a brew stand. Now, I don't have any cobblestone. I don't have any cobblestone. Can you do it with without cobblestone? Does it have to be cobblestone to make a brew stand? Um, brewing. What does it show here? Yeah, it looks like it does have to be cobble. So I suppose what we could do is just take some of the regular stone that we have here and just use our fortune pick on it. Yeah, there we go. There's our cobblestone. Perfect. All right. So now we can get ourselves a brewery. Cool. Place that down. We need to put some blaze powder into it. Blaze powder. Let's do about that many. That should be fine. New recipe unlocked. Very good. Oop, that goes here. All right. Yep. And then I need to go get myself some sand. So maybe that's what I'll do during this daytime. Uh, I do want to get some sand anyway because I would like to improve the um, way up to our mob farm. Currently, we're using that ladder. Then we're jumping off. Uh, I would like to upgrade the ladder to like a bubble stream. Yeah, so you put soul sand underneath source blocks of water. It'll like shoot you up in the air really fast. It's over twice the speed of climbing the ladder. I don't know exactly what the speed is, but that's something I'd like to do. So going out and finding a whole bunch of sand. Uh, remember, it's two stacks of blocks off the ground. So that's going to be like eight stacks of sand smelted into glass. If we're going to do a full glass column, which I think would be pretty cool. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead, try and find a beach somewhere to go remove a whole bunch of sand, and we'll be back, guys. All right, guys, so I'm just kind of like shaving down islands and stuff like that. Nothing big. Uh, we do have some glaciers over here, which is uh, our mob farm is this way. So we're over, I guess, this way. <laughs> that would be to the west, I suppose, since the sun is setting. Uh, but yeah, I did want to check out this boat here. Uh, these normally have treasure chests in them. Yeah, look at this. So what do we got in here? We got ourselves some iron nuggets. So two ingots, two more ingots, and then an emerald. All right. Nothing super fantastic. Now, I do believe these things can have up to three chests in them, but I think this one only is going to have the one. I was trying to like jump up here and stuff. Not doing a very good job of it. Yeah, so this only had the one chest. It's only like part of a shipwreck, right? Unless... Does more of it appear under the sand? I actually don't know how this works. No, no, it looks like... It looks like it was just what we've seen right there. Okay, uh, so... <laughs> not a whole lot of stuff there, but you know... Uh, a free chest, a little bit of... An emerald, a little bit of iron, not bad. I just looked up and these guys just spawned. All right, here we go, here we go, oh, come on. Oh, oh I missed. Did we get it? No, I missed again. All right, that one I got again. Oop. The first one was a one shot. These guys are, I don't know if they're tanky or if I got a critical hit or what happened here. But anyway, there we go. There's three phantom membranes. I know another one dropped earlier. I don't know where the drops actually went. There they are. Okay, so we're up to five of the phantom membranes. That's not bad. So one phantom membrane you can use to repair your elytra, or you can turn into three potions of levitating. Or uh, not not levitating, I'm sorry, of slow fall. So I just got done setting up a whole bunch of furnaces here <laughs> using uh, the cobblestone that we have mined from when I was taking down that little mountain. Anyway, so yeah, I made some extra furnaces here, smelted down nearly 10 stacks of glass, or I guess sand into glass. But yeah, now we can start on making ourselves uh, some brewing stuff, some potions. 
Uh, I need a spot to place down my water source. I don't have a water source in here, so I guess I need to get myself just something so I can set this down momentarily. Guess we'll just do like this. All right, and I should be able to place water right there. Yeah, very good. Okay, so three water bottles. We can place them in here. We need to do nether wart, right? I believe it's nether wart, then one of these, and then we're gonna want to extend that out. So we just do redstone. I don't think you do glowstone with those at all. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and brew these up. I'll probably look at brewing up some regeneration potions since we have ghast tears. I will look at doing some strength potions. That's just extra blaze powder. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get these potions brewed and then we will continue on, guys. All right, guys, so I couldn't help myself. I did put the power four on our bow, so we had power five. And I just got to thinking, you know, we're probably gonna want a few stacks of arrows on us since we don't have infinity. It probably would be a good idea to keep rolling through enchantments until we get infinity. So I ended up taking uh, these books here and then a bow that uh, the mobs have dropped and I kept alternating between them, trying to enchant and find infinity. Finally, I got a level 30 enchantment that had infinity on it. So I combined that with this bow that cost 16 levels for us to do that. So we had the power of five, we have infinity and it has unbreaking. The only thing we're missing would be uh, mending, but you can't mend when you have infinity, I'm pretty sure. So those are mutually exclusive. So pretty much this bow, aside from having like flame if we want that, is perfect, right? I don't really, I don't particularly want to have flame on the bow, so I think we're good to go. Uh, so I ended up bringing a stack of pearls and then some blaze rods so we can turn those into the eyes of ender. I don't know if we are gonna need these. This is kind of like additional just in case. So yeah, just holding on to those. I don't want to make more Eyes of Ender if we don't need them. But yeah, let's go ahead and toss our first Eye of Ender here and see where this thing goes. And that is actually going, that's going to the east. Okay, let's see if we can catch this thing on the way down. Whoa, got it, <laughs> nice. All right, so we are heading to the east to try and find our very first stronghold. Now, generally speaking, they can be like 5,000 blocks out. So, I don't know. Uh, is it 5,000? Maybe it's 3,000. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going this way until we hit land. I think we've been over in this general direction before when we were searching around, uh, trying to find a spot to find mobs. In fact, our village might be straight over this way. I'm not entirely sure how the lay of the land is, but yeah, once we get over here and we can get onto land, I think we'll throw the pearl again, or the Eye of Ender, and see where we end up with it. All right, so we hit some extreme hills or mountains or whatever. It's pretty cool looking terrain. Let's toss this guy again. Yet yeah, we are still going off in this direction over here, and no pearl broken at this point. I kind of wish that there was more ocean <laughs> so we could just take our boat and not have to run. But you know, whatever, it is what it is. Uh, we definitely want to get to that stronghold. And I'm not sure if I'm going to sleep or if I'm going to try and collect some more of the phantom membranes. Hmm, that's something else we're going to have to think about because it will be turning nighttime most likely before we get to the, uh, the stronghold here. So yeah, I do have a bet on me just in case I do want to sleep. Hmm, I guess I'll have to think about that. All right, guys, further this direction, I saw that we have some floating diorite over there. Yeah, I think this is where we were trying to get our Enderman the other day. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we're a little bit further away than I want to be for throwing the next pearl. But I know with these strongholds that it generally takes a lot longer than you think it is going to. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't want to risk uh, breaking so many of these Eyes of Ender. Man, I kind of wish it wasn't raining. Ah, super annoying. All right, let's try it right here. We're probably about 500 or more blocks away than the last time we tried it. Yep, and we are still going this direction. And still no broken Eye of Ender, which is fantastic. All right, so we just went through a taiga biome. Try again. And no, we went past it, okay. And of course, I landed on top of this tree. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Ah, got it. Okay, so we did go past it. So it is most likely somewhere in this taiga area because, yeah, I think this is pretty much the only biome that was between where the last clip was and now. 
Uh, it is kind of unfortunate, though, because when I throw the pearl, it's going to not have a clear shot at anything. Well, okay, that's not going to get caught in a tree. Getting kind of lucky on these guys. They haven't broke. Hey, it's a fox. Get it. Get the fox. Okay, <laughs> we'll leave the fox alone. Hey, another fox. Cool. Uh, all right, so let's do this. We're still going this way. Ah, oh, no. Hey, what you got there? He's got something in his mouth. All right. Well, anyway, we know that the stronghold is over here somewhere. Hopefully, it'll be pretty easy for us to find. Uh, yeah, let's try another one right here. Nope, we are still going this way. So this was kind of a uh, a bigger taiga. I kind of figured that we'd be going a few thousand blocks out. Like, we're about 2,500, 3,000 blocks out at this point. I was thinking we were going to be going closer to 5,000 blocks. Oops, watch out for the berries. Um, But yeah, I guess not. All right, let's try right here. No, it is still going this way. Okay. All right, guys, so it went down underneath this block and then popped back out here. So this is where we're at. I'll put a torch. Uh, I'm not going to dig down through the water because that's just going to be annoying. I'll dig down, like, right over here, though. I'll put some torches here. Hopefully this will be easy enough for me to find in the future. But yeah, let's just go ahead and dig down here. We're going to do what's really safe to do in Minecraft and dig straight down. Uh, but before I do that, I will go ahead and eat some food here want to make sure we're completely topped up in case something does actually happen oh here we go yeah yeah, yeah. all right oh silverfish there we go cool silverfish dead uh yeah i guess this is the top of this stronghold here and how far down was it no that's not so bad yeah we could easily just fall down that all right so now it's time to explore this guy uh we are pretty much just looking for the portal room. Now, how far away is the portal room going to be? That's the question of the day right now. Uh, hopefully, it's just like right here. And it's not. <laughs> of course it's not. Why would it be right here? Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go through this thing. Now, there are treasure chests that you can find in these strongholds. Uh, most of them, I don't think, have very great stuff in them. I mean, this stuff is okay. No oh, I don't want to fall down there. <laughs> Yeah, nothing that we particularly need. Um, the libraries, however, there should be two libraries per stronghold, I do believe. The libraries, oh, we found our spot. Yeah, the libraries um, have enchanted books in them, so you can get some pretty good enchantments. I think you can get mending and things like that. I mean, although we talked about this before, how villagers, there's a library over here, uh, villagers, you can get pretty much any book from for really cheap, but we just haven't set that up yet. So, you know, getting, getting some good books is definitely something I would like, especially if they're useful. Uh, plus we have access to all these bookshelves, which is really good. Um, yeah, if we want to do more enchanted books or whatever. So where's, here's the chest. All right, so nothing in here, just some books and some paper. Uh, then upstairs, I know there is another chest. Go check that one out real quick while we are here. I think it's back on this side. And looting three. That's not bad, looting three and piercing. All right, but we already have looting three, so if we uh, we break our sword or die and lose it or whatever, so that's a good backup to have. So we'll just leave that there for now. We don't particularly need it at this time, but I did want to check that out. Now there should be another library here. Maybe, oh, that just goes down to nothing. Okay, this might be either a really small stronghold. <laughs> it might be really strong or yeah, really small. I'm just gonna get rid of this. Um, or it's one of the ones that are broken. So like, yeah, so like, um, it, the sections of the stronghold are disconnected from each other. I mean, that's a possibility, too. So what do we got here? We have no Eyes of Ender. How unlucky. All right, I'm just going to turn all of this to obsidian. I've had it before where, like, you break a block and then silverfish go crazy and then the lava gets everywhere. And, yeah, let's just not deal with that. Let's go ahead and put some torches around, keep this place all lit up. 
We will eventually get a nether portal here, I'm sure, so we can go back and forth. But until then, uh, let's go ahead and get these Eyes of Ender in there. Cool. We have two of these remaining, and uh, we didn't have to use any of these Ender Pearls and stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I think what I'll do, I'll put a chest down here, drop off some of the stuff in my inventory, and then we will continue on. All right, guys, so I just dropped off some things that we don't really need on us. We don't need these pearls or these blaze rods, these extra blocks, Eyes of Ender, or our Silk Touch or Axe. Yeah, we don't need any of that. Uh, we probably don't need our shovel either. I just want to make sure, like, in case something happens, we fall into the void, we didn't lose everything. You know what I mean? Uh, so I did bring just a little bit of cobblestone with us. If we need more blocks, we can turn our wood into planks and then pillar out. Hopefully we don't have to do that. Uh, we have our potions ready to go, bows in the offhand, swords in our main hand. I think we are pretty much go good to go to go into the end. Let's do it. Oh, goodness, we do have to pillar. Oh, that would have been super terrible. That would have been really, really super terrible if I didn't bring any blocks with me. Uh, all right, so I guess we're going to see how far we can go with this cobblestone. Hopefully the dragon doesn't come over and bother us. Oh my goodness. I always hate when this happens. Generally, uh, yeah, generally this doesn't seem to happen too often, but when it does happen, very, very, very annoying. Um, I kind of want to put up safety rail. Oh no. Okay. I think we're fine. I hope. Please don't knock me off this Mr. Dragon. Okay, I don't think if the dragon flies through here that it could knock us off. Okay, but we do have to worry about <laughs> the, uh, the dragon breath. Okay, so we have to uh, go through here and disable all of these guys. That shouldn't be too difficult to do. Um, now, the harder ones would be like these that have the bars around them. But like in one of the updates, it allows you to shoot through these bars and you can kind of hit the thing. So you don't really have to worry too much about that. I mean, I guess you got to see it a little bit. There you go. So yeah, you don't even have to climb up there for that. So that makes it super, super easy. Uh, the difficult thing is getting like these really tall ones, getting your arc just perfect. Oh, didn't get it. Almost. All right, well, let's keep going here and see if we can get as many of these as possible. Yeah, I think I might be too close. Oop, don't look at the Enderman. I think I might be too close to that one over there. Take a little damage, dragon. Did I get this one? Ooh, maybe? No, I didn't get it. <laughs> I was hoping that it'd go up and then get it on the, uh, when it started falling down, but it didn't work that way. Ah, didn't get it. How about this time? There it is. Nice. Yeah, I gotta watch out for that dragon breath. I think I'll try... See if we can get it this way. That might be an easy... Oh, that's gonna hit me, isn't it? Alright, let's move out of the way. Try that again. Nope, I didn't get enough on that one either. It's pretty close, though. So you should be able to get them like that. Alright, there's that one. Me up just a little higher. Nice. We got this one over here. Let's get that one. That's easy to see. Ooh, this one's pretty far up though. Okay, we got that one. Ooh, my health. All right, eat, 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 eat. Get our health regening. Nice. How many more do we have? Just the one? I think it's just the one. All right, can we get it? Oh, it's so close. There it is. Awesome. All right. So now we just need to smack the dragon around a bit. Just bully the dragon. Oh, no, no, no. There is still another one. Okay. I thought we got them all. Whoa. This guy is mad at me. Back off, guy. Okay. Right there? Nope. Too low. This one. Too high. Down to like two pixels. A little bit more. There it is. All right, now we should be good. 
Now what's up, dragon? Let's go. It's like the best way to get the dragon is when it's doing this weird, like, hovering over the portal thing. But you can still shoot it with the bow and arrow. Because otherwise... It's, like, impossible to do anything to this dragon. So I'm going to eat these potions real quick. And see if I can get over there and do some sword action to it. It's probably going to send me flying, but the... The, uh, the potion should be what we want. Yeah, well, actually, I'm able to do some damage. You just got to poke it right in the butt. Normally, when I try and get underneath the dragon like this, it sends me flying. But uh, this time it's not. I'm not sure why. Now I can't... Oh, there we go. I was like, now I can't do damage to it. All right, cool. So we did about half damage to it. That's not bad. See if we can get some more bow shots into it. There we go. There we go. And got him. Oh yeah. All the experience now. That's some good stuff here. Let's go ahead and collect all of this up. 53 levels. 62 levels. Oh, that feels pretty good. 65 levels. All right. So we'll collect our egg too, even though the egg doesn't really have much use for us. But it's a trophy nonetheless, so we will collect our trophy. Torch, egg, got it. Aha! <laughs> so that's awesome. And that only took us, uh, well, we didn't have to use the potions, but the potions definitely make it easier. It seems like that slow falling, the dragon did knock me back, I think, twice during that. And that really only made me, like, jump back just a little bit. So, yeah, definitely, definitely pretty cool. All right. So we have ourselves a portal to go out to the, uh, the end cities and stuff. But honestly, I don't think we got enough time in this episode to go do that. So I think we're going to go ahead and finish up Minecraft, get the credits. I will make myself a portal. Oh, man, all my stuff is back. <laughs> uh at that stronghold i gotta go back there and get all my stuff yeah so i'll make myself a portal uh at the stronghold and hopefully we'll be able to link it back up uh to the overworld once make some kind of a path or whatever some kind of fast travel that'll definitely definitely be a thing that we want to do but guys we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here for today yeah we were able to knock out the dragon we got to the stronghold pretty cool stuff we got ourselves some really good enchantments too but anyway guys that's gonna do it for today thank you guys for watching remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it and we'll see you next time thanks for watching guys bye bye